welcome uh, today we will discuss some different topic than what we have done uh, till last lecture so we have discussed the fourier series of two pi periodic function or in more general periodic function uh, so we will start doing some finite Fourier analysis. So, to do uh, a Fourier analysis, uh, what we need is a group structure as we have uh, seen there uh, in the 0 pi, 0 to 2 pi interval. So, we have uh, done the sum modulo 2 pi and that itself was providing us a group structure and uh, so for the finite group first let us look at uh, okay this is fourier analysis on finite sets okay so first let us look at uh, let 1 omega omega square up to omega n where n is a natural integer be all the nth roots of unity this is n minus 1 because I am starting from n equal to 0. That means what if I look at the solution that is all these are solutions of the equation 0 to the power n is equal to 1. Obviously, if any number is a solution of this equation, then this is going to lie on the unit circle centered at origin. So, depending on n, so these are placed here, here, like this. So, they are placed on the unit circle of radius uh, 1 centered at 0 and uh, one. So, this namely we can write this omega uh, to be e to the power 2 pi i by n. So, then all these roots are 0 if I take the power is 2 pi i by n, then this is e to the power 4 pi i by n and this goes up to e to the power 2 pi i n minus 1 by n. Now, if I take uh, any z and z prime this belongs to this set then if you say that z into z prime this is equal to e to the power 2 pi i k by n into e to the power 2 pi i k prime by n where k and k prime they can be any number between 0 to n minus 1. Now, this itself is e to the power 2 pi i k plus k prime by n. Now, if k plus k prime is more than n, then it is going to repeat because e to the power 2 pi i uh, integer times integer is equal to 1. i n is equal to 1 for n varies over z. So, therefore, this is again going to after 
it cross n again it is going to fall back here. So, that is why this z and z prime let me denote this set as p n then z into z prime this belongs to p n. So, which means this is the operation in which we are looking for p n to be a group. So, therefore, so now in order to be a group we need to have one identity and the closer is satisfied we can satisfy the associativity law exactly like this and then uh, the function uh, uh, the number 1 if I multiply it with any complex number. So, that is going to give me that. So, that is the identity and what about the inverse. Now, if z belongs to p n then z is equal to e to the power 2 pi i k by n for some k lying between 0 to n minus of 1. Now, you consider z inverse to be I denoted this e to the power 2 pi i n minus of k by n. So, this is again uh, this is uh, nth root of unity with uh, so now as you can see this will imply that z z prime is nothing but 1. So, this is a group under multiplication p n is a group under multiplication. On the other hand there is another group this reminds us that if I look at z n which consists of 0, 1, 2, up to n minus 1. Now, I define define the operation uh, if uh, for let us say x and y belongs to z n you define x this y which is equal to x plus y mod n. What do I mean by that? It is exactly like, uh, so if I take uh, 3 uh, and I suppose for example, if I take z 8, then you have got 0, 1, 2, up to 7. So, now what is my 6? plus 7, 6 plus 7 is 13. So, this is equal to modular 8 is equal to 5. So, as uh, you can uh, always see that uh, this z 8 under this operation of addition z, uh, suppose uh, uh, I take uh, let us say uh, 2. Now, what will be the inverse of this 2? Inverse of this 2 is if I add 6, then I am going to get that this is 8 and modulo 8 is 0. And 0 is the additive identity and hence z 8 is a group. In general, one can show that z n is a, an abelian group. group under this operation. Okay, so, it is uh, um, there is one can see that there is uh, a similarity between this uh, group of uh, nth root of unity, but there the operation is multiplication and here z n that the multiplication is uh, some modulo 8 and uh, the two group we can say that they are the same group provided there is an isomorphism between them.
Now, if we define the map from Zn to to Pn, so n going to uh, e to the power 2 pi i n by n. Then easily one can check that this is an onto isomorphism. Uh, n1 plus n2 if we take let us say n1 plus n2 this will go to e to the power 2 pi i uh, n1 plus n2 this is going to be suppose uh, this is the sum modulo of this n2 by n. So, now we have an abelian group. Now, we can talk of the function from j d n to c. Any let f be a function. Then we define Fourier coefficient of f as f of k this is equal to 1 over n summation over n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 f of n e to the power minus 2 pi i k into n divided by n. So, we are trying this is what is the Fourier exactly the same way of what we have defined for the 2 pi periodic function and uh, here uh, it is enough for us to say that k belongs to 0 to n minus 1. Now, if I take any k beyond n minus of 1 greater or equal to n, then this is going to be suppose k is equal to n plus k is greater than or equal to n, then k is equal to some p n plus certain l and this l is going to lie between 1 to n minus 1. Now, e to the power 2 pi i k n by n this is equal to e to the power 2 pi i k is p n n plus l n whole divided by n this is equal to e to the power 2 pi i p n into e to the power 2 pi i l n by n. So, this is equal to e to the power 2 pi i because this is an integer. So, e to the power 2 pi i p n this is going to be equal to 1. So, this is l n by n. So, it is enough for us to restrict ourselves from k equal to 0 to n minus 1, although for any integer even if we define, we can define the Fourier transform which is denoted here as capital F on z, but this is going to get repeated after the uh, uh, first n minus of 1 integers, it will be equal to some of them. So, let us uh, compute example, let f of n is a constant function 1, then f k this is equal to 1 by n summation over n equal to 0 to n minus of 1 e to the power minus 2 pi i because f n is 1 k n 
by n. So now if k is equal to 0, then what we are going to get? We are going to get that this f of 0, all these things are going to be equal to 1 and if we add them, then there will be n of them and 1 by n is going to give me 1. And if k is not equal to 0, then this f k, this is going to be 1 by n summation over n equal to 0 to n minus of 1 e to the power minus 2 pi i k n by n. Now, as you can see that e to the power 2 pi i n by n, these are all for all n 0 to n minus of 1, they are the nth capital nth root of unity. So, what we know that 1 plus omega plus omega square up to omega n minus of 1, this is equal to 0. Because you just multiply it by omega, then you can see that uh, what you are going to get. Okay. So, so far so good. Uh, th therefore, this is going to be equal to 0. So, essentially what we get is that f k is equal to 1 if k is equal to 0, 0 otherwise. This we can denote that is f k, this is equal to delta 0 of k, where delta 0 here oh, I am defining the function which is it takes the value 1 at k equal to 0 and 0 otherwise. Okay, so, now let us compute uh, another example. Uh, now, let us do it, uh, I, can, I can leave this as an exercise. Uh, you can compute, let us take f of n, this is equal to 1 if n equal to 0 is equal to 0 otherwise. That is in our just newly introduced notation f of n equal to delta 0 of n. Then you can compute f k. f k it is simple because uh, if you take uh, 1 by n summation of this only one term gets survives and that is what you are going to get it as 1 by n. Okay, so then let us do a little non trivial example. So, let f from z4 to c uh, be defined by f of n is equal to n plus 1. So, this is a nicely defined function. What are the elements of z4? So, z4 we have 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, let us compute. Uh, uh, so, therefore, f k by definition is 1 by 4 summation over n from 0 to 3 f of n e to the power minus 2 pi i k n by n. This is by definition. So, therefore, I will let me first calculate 4 f of 0. This is going to be f of when n equal to 0, f of 0 is going to take the value 1. So, the first one is 1 and n equal to 0, this will go away. Now, the second one is f of 1 is 2 and then e to the power minus 2 pi, this is uh, again, this is going to be 0. So, therefore, this is just 1 and plus 3, k is equal to 0 means this is 1 plus 
4, f of 3 is 4, therefore, this is equal to 10. Now, I take 4 of f of 1. Now, this is equal to again f of 0 is equal to 1 and n equal to 0 means this is 1 into 1 plus f of 1 is 2 n equal to 1 and k equal to 1 is minus 2 by i by 4 plus n equal to 2 then f of n is 3 into e to the power minus 2 pi i 3 by 4 plus 4 into e to the power minus 2 pi i uh, oh, this is 2 this is 3 by 4. So, now a simple computation this is 1 e to the power my 2 times e to the power minus i pi by 2 in e to the power minus i pi by 2 is uh, equal to minus of i. So, 2 into minus of i plus 3 into my e to the power minus pi i which is equal to minus 1. So, this is minus of 3 plus 4 into e to the power minus 3 pi by 2 sin 3 pi by 2 is going to take the negative value. So, this is minus. So, this is going to be um, plus uh, e to the power 3 pi by 2 that is going to be minus of 1. So, this is i because cos is 0. So, yeah this is i. So, what I get is minus 2 plus 2 i. Similarly, if you take f 2, you can you can compute it. So, this is uh, going to be 1 plus 2 into uh, minus of i because e to the power minus pi by uh, 2 which is going to be uh, i. So, this is 2 n equal to 1 n equal to 1 and k equal to 2. So, this is e to the power minus uh, 2 to 4 i pi i pi and plus uh, 3 into e to the power minus 2 pi i k is 2 n is 2 divided by 4 and plus 4 into e to the power minus 2 pi i 2 into 3 divided by 4. So, so that is easy to compute. Similarly, you can compute 4 of f of 3. So, all these things one can compute. 4 of f of 3 if you compute then this is going to be get minus minus of 2i. Okay. And uh, this would be a real number which may be minus of 2. Okay. So, now another important example what we are going to compute is uh, f of z is equal to f is a function from uh, z n where if I take my z to be 0 1 2 2 n minus of 1 and I define this to be z to the power n. Therefore, uh, if z is equal to e to the power 2 pi i k by n in the p n I am defining it is uh, k by n for some k then if for this particular k because I am taking here the z I am identifying with p n. So, if so if for this k then I can 
take that f of k this is equal to 1 by n summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 e to the power 2 pi i k by n into e to the power minus 2 pi i z to the power n means this to the power n 2 pi i k n by n this is equal to 1 by n and then this is n uh, this is going to be equal to 1. If z is not of the form e to the power 2 pi i k by n then what we can define is that then this f of k this is equal to summation 1 over n n equal to 0 to n minus of 1 and z e to the power so what i am oh, here it is sorry uh, it is f of n is equal to z to the power n so this is equal to 1 by n and then this is uh, this is a geometric progression so what i will get is that this is equal to uh, z to the power n e to the power minus 2 pi i k by n to the power n minus 1 divided by z e to the power 2 pi i k by n minus 1 and this is never equal to uh, this is minus this cannot be equal to 1 that is what we have taken. So, this is essentially is equal to 1 by n z to the power n minus of 1 divided by z into e to the power 2 pi i k by n minus 1 denominator is never 0. So, we have calculated some of the Fourier coefficient and we have defined the Fourier coefficient uh, for finite uh, for this particular finite abelian group. In the next lecture, we will see that what are the basic properties this Fourier coefficient is going to obey vis-a-vis uh, -vis what we have learned in the Fourier series uh, for 2 pi periodic function. Thank you.